joining us now is retail analyst Kate Hardcastle. Hi, Kate. Um, do you have a favourite one yet? Hi, Kate. Oh, I'm not quite sure if I'm allowed to say, but certainly if I were or what the public think, I think one of the ones you just showed, actually, Disney's doing very well with the sentimentality. And certainly the idea that Percy Pig, the much beloved sweet and confectionery item for many, has a voice now and is voiced by Tom Holland. Uh, Holland seems to be doing very well. Yeah. What makes a good Christmas TV ad? I think you really heartstrings. I mean, a lot of the way we watch advertising now, we don't even realise that we've got this subconscious thing going on, the way we accept messaging, particularly as a lot of it is across so many channels, we pick much of it up on social media and billboards as we do those big stick down TV moments. So I think when it comes to Christmas ads, you're trying to sum up everything your brand is and can be and trying to really pull up the heartstrings whilst trying to sell your product. It's not an easy challenge for any ad agency and they've got to get it right when they don't. My goodness me, is it a Marmite moment on social media? As <laughs> Social media will tell you immediately how they feel about it. And I think the ones that really work actually bring some joy and humour into a time when it's been incredibly difficult for people. Do we still need those big box ads though? I mean, Elton John's been involved in the past as well, as you say, um, Hollywood celebrities involved this time as well. Um, what, why are they still popular? Don't we just need to know how much our turkey is going to cost? <laughs> I think there's a real important job to do for retailers that they have to get the message across. Now, these adverts are becoming so Hollywood, they even have their own merchandise attached to them. And that is that things that feature in the adverts are actually lines that sell out particularly well. We've seen that with John Lewis this time. The theme is the idea of no matter what our differences we're not that different after all. The idea of a, it's been suggested perhaps a bit of an E.T. storyline, 80s nostalgia coming in there. And uh, the item that's swapped beyond, uh, between Young Boy and Alien is a Christmas jumper. That Christmas jumper is already sold out, even though it doesn't have the flashing lights and the music as the one on the advert. I was very disappointed at that. But I think these big thematic adverts have been attached to a massive price point. Five million was talked about when Elton John was involved uh, in the John Lewis advert a couple of years ago. And that seems to really sit uncomfortably when those organisations sometimes have to give out messages about how they're not doing so well or perhaps they can't uh, help their stakeholders or their staff hit profit lines or certainly hit um, increased wage salaries. So I think it became quite a controversial line. I think they've been pared down slightly. Um, but you've got to have that idea that your brand has got to be out there on full show. Everyone's anticipating this. Everyone's expecting this. So it's, it's a, a very fine line to balance between how do you get it so it looks sensational, represents your brand, engages people, but then how do you get it so it's tastefully in budget? OK, just before I let you go, Black Friday, is that going to be as big a deal as it normally is? No, I really don't think so. We saw a lot of challenges last year with retailers trying to uh, balance what they felt was appropriate messaging. I think some retailers have been quite easy to kick it in the long grass anyway. Who wants to really discount at a point where you are trying to sell at full price? And I think any idea that we've had this time when we think about items coming in and maybe not being in full stock or not having those shelves full, People have certainly been buying earlier in the main for their Christmases. So I think Black Friday will still be out there as a promotional message, but perhaps not as strong as it's been in previous years. People tend to be looking for an all-year-round bargain these times, Kate. Okay. OK, it's good to talk to you as always, Kate. Thanks so much indeed. Thank, Thank you. you.